Hi, it's a beautiful sunny day here in Kilkenny. My name is John Fitzgerald, I'm Head of Agri with Bank of Ireland and we're on the farm of James O'Reilly in Ballyragget today. You work uh, jointly with your father here on the tillage farm, James. Maybe you tell us a bit about the crops you grow and the rotation system and so on that you use here. My dad has farmed here over 50 years. We've eventually settled on a five-year crop rotation. What we do is minimal tillage and my dad pioneered that system back 17 years ago. Our land was getting tougher and tougher to till and plough. The advantage of, of min tilling is you try to keep organic matter on the top and the aer aer aerobic layer. Where do you see yourself taking the farm over, say, the next five years? Well, I'd like to think that there's uh, scope in, uh, with land uh, mobility and, and, and leasing. We're always on the lookout for um, like-minded landowners who have a, an interest, I suppose, being uh, keepers of the land. We work closely with those landowners in long-term leases. In 2015, you increased the scale of the operation here by about a third. In the midst of a, p a difficult period for, for you know, the tillage sector, that was a brave step. When you're in turmoil, there's always opportunities. When everything's on a high, it's nearly impossible to get in. So, But uh, it was just a uh, good fortune that the opportunity arose. The landowners themselves were farming it themselves using contractors. The reason I suppose that they went with us was for a number of key issues. One was that they had seen the way we'd looked after and improved our own land banks and other landlords' land banks and they wanted the same for their land. For you to make a return on your capital investment on leased land, typically how long do you, do, do you tie in the lease? We'd like to get in for at least 10 years. 20, it'd be no, no issue at all for us. Now we do, there is break clauses if they want to get out. I suppose and for some reason or other they meet financial difficulty and they want to sell. As regards of us wanting to get out, we've yet to break a lease, we never have. You use bank finance to fund your seasonal inputs. You would go with, with bank finance as opposed to say merchant credit. Well with bank finance you're in control of your credit limits, you're in control of your interest rate, but you also can purchase correctly. And, and the merchant is not a bank and the merchant would prefer you didn't use his credit. He would prefer that you were coming in there and paying for your seed and fertiliser when, when it fell due. You have some interest off farm, James. 11 years ago, we set up a motor business in Cashel, autoplatz.ie, and we specialise in the used market in, in fresh second um, Germanic brands. It's a bit of a juggle for the farming and, and, and the car trade, but I'm lucky enough, my dad is still young enough that he's still actively involved in the farm. There's a juggling act with the, the work-life balance. How do you how do you how do you manage that? I suppose at the moment I'm only 35, so I'm going to call it a work-work balance. Um, but I enjoy it. Uh, the farming, I kind of look at it. Some people play golf. I farm, and I like it that much that I don't consider it amount of farm work. It's maybe a break from the office. It's obvious from meeting both yourself and your dad that you have a very good uh, working relationship. Uh, maybe you could tell me more about uh, you know how you've cultivated such a positive relationship and how that has worked to the benefit of the farm. We just love what we do, we have a great passion for what we do, even though there's some heated discussions and at the end of the day we both have a common goal and that is to grow crops profitably while at the same time improve and, and, and preserve our land bank which is our biggest natural uh, resource that we have. <laughs>